Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn something regarding how to use the AutoCAD to draw the civil engineering drawing that is plan, elevation, section of building. So here firstly, we will study how to set units in AutoCAD or how to use unit command in AutoCAD. Then we will learn what are the different dimension styles used in AutoCAD and how to set these dimension styles and then thirdly we will learn what are the different 2d commands and what is the procedure what will be the procedure for using that 2d commands and how we can use utilize that command to draw a plan elevation section of building that is the civil engineering drawing in the next further videos we will study uh, how to draw line, line plan, then develop plan, then elevation, section of building. So watch the videos carefully and learn some knowledgeable part. So thank you. If you like the video, please do share it and subscribe the channel. Channel link is already you know or it is www.youtube.com slash c slash Praveen Mani. So, thank you. Hi friends, in this video I have explained how to set units in AutoCAD. Hi friends, in this tutorial we will learn about different dimension styles used in AutoCAD.
ID command in AutoCAD. Type ID command in command line window and press enter key then click on any point after you will see X, Y, Z coordinates of that point. To repeat the command press enter key again and follow the same procedure. This way you can use ID command in AutoCAD. Point command. Go to menu bar and click on format tab and select point style. Then type point in command line window and press enter key and click wherever you want the point. This way you can use point command in AutoCAD. Use of trim command. Method 1. Type TR in command line window and press enter twice and select object for trim. Method 2. Type TR in command line window and press enter key and click on cutting edge then press enter key and click on object for trim. Copy command. Type copy in command line window and press enter key and select object and press enter key and click on base point then drag the mouse and click on point where you want to copy the object and press enter key. Move command. Type move in command line window and press enter key select the object and press enter key and select base point and drag the mouse to the position where you want to move the object. Stretch or lengthen command. Select line click on base point and drag the mouse, enter the value and press enter key. Offset command. Type offset in command line window and enter value and press enter key then click on object and click on either side where you want offset then press enter key. Mirror command. Type mirror in command line window and press enter key select the object and press enter key then click on first mirror point then click on second mirror point and then press enter key. Scale command. Type scale in command line window and press enter key then select object and press enter key and select base point, add scale factor and press enter key. Rectangle command. Type rectangle in command line window and press enter key then select base point then enter value then press tab key and enter another value and press enter key. Rotate command. Type rotate in command line window and press enter key then select object and press enter key then click on base point and add rotation angle and press enter key. Rotate by reference. Type rotate in command line window and press enter key then select object and press enter key then click on base point and select reference from command prompt and press enter key then first click on common point, second click on object and third click on line about which we have to rotate the object and press enter key. Chamfer command. Type chamfer in command line window and press enter key then type D and press enter key then add value press enter key then add another value and press enter key then click on first line, click on second line. Rectangle with fillet. Type rectangle in command line window and press enter key then type F and press enter key add fillet radius and press enter key then click on screen add value and press tab key add another value and press enter key. Type fillet in command line window and press enter key then type R and add fillet radius and press enter key then select first line, then select second line. Explode command. If we have drawn rectangle by using rectangle command and we want to select sides of rectangle separately then we use above command. Type explode in command line window and press enter key then click on the object and press enter key. Extend command. Type extend in command line window and press enter key and then select line up to which we want to extend then press enter key and then select line which we want to extend. One type face symbol in AutoCAD. Type percent percent %C during writing text in AutoCAD. Two type plus symbol and minus symbol in AutoCAD. Type percent percent %P during writing text in AutoCAD. Three type degree symbol in AutoCAD. Type percent percent %D during writing text in AutoCAD. 4 4 underline text in AutoCAD. Type percent percent %U after writing text in AutoCAD.